So we finally decided to buy a car. Well, it's not like we never had any cars before, but it's the first time that we went for the dealer to, uh, to get a car from there. And essentially, we added up a few more options in there. And overall, it's, it's a pretty good deal. So we opted for the uh, Toyota Prius, uh, an hybrid model. So it'll cost way less than the minivan does. Sure, there's less space in there, but this is not the, the concern here. The concern is the gas mile per mileage. <laughs> and right now, it's awful. It, maybe because my wife travels a lot for uh, her courses and for school in general, and also for errands and whatnot, and since you already know that we're always on the road, <laughs> uh, it's almost $150 per week for gas. So that's that's a lot with the minivan. So we'll probably cut down by half, if not a bit more. It would be nice to have 60 bucks per week instead of 150. That would be nice. So it's a short-term um, higher payment for a longer-term gain. Because over time, we'll be able to save some money because of the gas and whatnot. So And the repairs as well, because right now we'll, we'll have a car that is uh, newer, not necessarily from this year, but uh, still not that old. So less, f less stuff to fix around, less stuff to take care of. The vehicle is more reliable. And yeah. So the moral of today, I believe, is to make sure to invest properly as much as possible because it's not always e nobody knows the future so we all know that cars are not perfect they're not eternal they're not everlasting but at least if you buy it a bit newer it can last a bit longer so that's a wiser investment i really like the idea of being able to do more with less in that case that's that's basically it. So we we end up being able to save over time, even though the the payment overall for the car is a bit steep, but it's not that bad. So it's manageable. It's a managed risk, kind of. <laughs> so anyway, that's it for me today. Till tomorrow. Ciao.